Howdy Wargamers and welcome to TT Combat's Get It Painted. In this episode I'm going to show you how I painted the Necron Canoptech from Forge World. This is one imposing beast but he's fairly easy to paint, so if you own one don't be put off by his size and detail, because once painted this guy looks awesome. I started by priming the miniature using Army Painter's Colour Primer Plate Mail Metal. Since this thing is a giant metal centipede, uh, it's kind of a no brainer really. I then washed the entire miniature using Citadel's Agrax Earthshade just to give it a nice dirty look. I then paint the face and any trim using Citadel's Hashet Copper. This is definitely one of the better metallic paints from Citadel and gives a really nice coverage. As you can see, I have painted the face, the spine, the underbelly plates and the legs copper just to break up the model a bit. However, there is no reason why you couldn't use gold or different colour silvers instead. They will all help to break up the large metal surface of this beast. I then coat all the copper areas using Citadel's new technical paint, Nylac Oxide. This stuff is fantastic, it gives a great realistic look. Just paint it straight over the copper and then wipe away any excess with a little piece of tissue or another brush. Okay, once an eye like oxide has dried, it's time to get the airbrush out and try and create some nice glowing effects around the eyes and spine. I start by applying Vallejo's Model Air Green Zinc over the eyes and any other areas I want to glow, like the big orb in his mouth. You don't need to be too careful here, just spread it directly over the areas you want to glow. Any overspray will just help to give a nice glowing effect. As a final step, I spray Vallejo's game colour Livery Green over the same areas as the previous step, only this time I want to apply the green much closer to the source of the glow. And there you have it, one cannot take painted in no time at all. If you want to see how this bad boy was based then check out Dan's conversion lab on our YouTube channel where he shows us step by step how to jazz up our large oval bases with minimal effort. This cannot tech is actually for sale, the link is in the description below. 
TT Combat is now taking on commission work, so if you're the kind of person that would love to field a painted army, but don't have the time, patience or ability to get it done, then get in touch with us for a quote. We can do individual models ranging from small characters right up to big beasties, or an entire army. Get in touch with us for a no obligation quote. Again, the email is in the description below. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time.